Hey, thanks for coming in Larger Curves. Make sure you smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and ring the bell on the way in. Curvies, OMG, I happen to catch another live. This time from Stormy from Love and Marriage, um, Huntsville. You know, after the tragic loss of Kiki Jabbar on Friday, um, we have been hearing many condolences and stories from different people on Love and Marriage Huntsville. And um, in this live, she does touch on Kiki. She talks about the situation with Miss Black Titanic, shout out, and some other stuff. So, Curvies, let's listen and leave a comment down below. What are your thoughts on her thoughts? If I say anything, honey, it gets taken and turned into something else, so I try not to say nothing. Uh, I use your Sam and Works Wonders. Thank you. Uh... Yeah, I use body glaze in my hair. I, this all, this all, this the only thing that's in my hair right now. Body glaze. I washed it last night, and it smells so good. It, and when you put body, I put body glaze on my son's hair too. His hair so long. That's the only thing we use on his hair. Um, as far as styling. Um, if you leave, I'm done. The crazy thing is, like, it ain't even a now thing. It was like I've been that way for me. Um, I be putting scented ones in my hair. It just depends on how I'm feeling. Like last night, I got we get samples all the time from our fragrance house of different scents, and I had one called Passion Fruit. <laughs> one of my samples, I used the Passion Fruit scent in one last night. It smelled so good. But Passion Fruit was a scent that I didn't approve for body glaze to so become a body glaze. I didn't approve it right now. I might I may go back to it. <sighs> Y'all, I'm yeah. Oh, ask me some questions. I'm finna go. I just wanted to come on here. I don't know. My, my soul was compelled to just give that message. Um, because this kind of feel like, I feel like that's been my example. Like, I had moments where me and Destiny got into it. People looking like, oh, I can't believe you. And they're like, me and Destiny, cool. It's cool right after. Hell, I wanted to ask her that she wants to get, go get something to eat right after. That's just how I am. And I just, it just tore me up, you know, to see yeah what's wrong peachy weechy come here and jump up <laughs> okay. a great pair of knees and they showing out because uh, courtney and my baby just What's your next venture? I don't know. I'm just like, for me, I'm just TikTok and growing my company, Canvas. I just want to get it to be the brand that I want it to be. I want a full-on lifestyle brand, not just hair, not just skin, but everything. <clears throat> and then another thing, too, like, I ain't going to talk. About it. Like, I, uh, it's so much I want to say, but I'm so used to saying nothing. So I'm just choosing to say nothing. Is it because of that lady come? Now I can't talk about that. The lady coming to my warehouse, that was crazy. Um, and I will talk about that because I never talked about that. So let me talk about that. So <clears throat> on the show, I recently got arrested. Not arrested, shit. I had to turn myself in because I had two warrants out for my arrest. Harassing communications and disorderly conduct because there was this YouTuber and this YouTuber was not favorable of me. She didn't like me. She never had anything good to say about me. Matter of fact, some people who um now lease some of my old warehouses and salons that I used to lease from people back in the day, they they had called me and they was like, yo, this lady keep coming by here looking for you. And I ended up, somebody ended up sending me the, the YouTube videos. And before this lady even found my current warehouse, I saw the videos that were sent to me of her going to my previous locations looking for me and they were not favorable they were very trashy they were very hateful um scary almost trying to like disprove disprove the fact that i'm successful disprove the fact that i have a warehouse um disprove the fact that i have a business it was just just ugly it was like 
you know, calling me names, talking about me negatively, telling me what kind of person I am. Like, it was scary. Like, it was it was not favorable content. Um, And had I, you know, had anybody seen that beforehand and, you know, they wouldn't, if they saw the lady in person, they wouldn't have thought she was there to, to be nice. Hell, I'm low-key scared, shit, because <laughs> fans are crazy. Can be crazy. I wouldn't say they're crazy, but so we were at our warehouse one day. I'm working, y'all. At this time, I'm building my business back up from finally seeing some success again, gaining some momentum, getting some wind under my wings. And look out the window. Lo and behold, one of my employees, I want, he was like, yo, that's that lady outside. And mind you, at the time, our building was in a complex where there were other businesses. However, let me tell y'all how some of my leases go. When you lease a building, that's your property. That's that becomes your property. It's not nobody else's property. And any, even if it's a shared complex, you have a allocated parking spaces that are yours. You get what I'm saying? That belong to you. Look, look at Peaches. What you doing, girl? That belong to you. And that was the case. So she was walking down. You could tell she wasn't sure if our building was over there. So she was looking at other build, buildings and whatever. So she was getting ready to walk right up to our door. She had walked to a few doors we could see out the window. And before she could actually, like, get to the door, but she was still in our parking areas, like, right there. I would say five to seven feet away from the door. Courtney go outside. You know, we asked her to leave. She ain't leaving. At this time, I'm thinking... I'm going to snap my mind. It's like, this motherfucking bitch like, came over here? Like, you really doing this? Because it's real now. You know, I done seen videos of her looking and doing it before this one. I done seen the videos of her going to other places that we had occupied. But, like, when it's, like, in your face, you like, ain't no motherfucking way. I bet you ain't tired. You know, so I'm, I kind of lost my shit. I was, like, crying. I was heard i was cursing hell i was saying all kind of shit but i was also saying this so fucked up like this some stalker ass shit like why they do this they try to tear me down all the time i'm devastated i'm crying and the lady took that video down to the magistrate office and swore for a warrant she basically i'm under the impression that she told them that she was a little old lady i don't even think she's that old she looked older but I think she, I don't even think she's 70. Everybody be like, she 90 or whatever. But she was like, she look old lady coming to buy some damn products. I don't like this. I ain't coming to buy no goddamn products. She ain't even saying that about no products. And her previous videos disproved that. But they didn't know that. You know, when you go and swear for a warrant, you basically saying, hey, what I say is true. And this is what I have to support my claims. So they issued her a warrant. But it got thrown out. Hallelujah. Yeah, <laughs> it got thrown out because like once the evidence was out there and it showed like it was like borderline stalking, if not just stalking, because you can't go looking for people and then for weeks <laughs> and then find them and then be like, oh, I ain't do nothing. So it got thrown out, but it was still something that I had to go through. And mind you. I went in my warehouse one day and my warehouse supervisor called me. She was like, yo, two police just came up and looked for you. I was like, looking for me. I was like, police looking for me for? And that was after Courtney had let me know. But I was just like, what the fuck? Like it was real. It was, it was, it was really crazy. It was really real. And so I ended up finding out. It was the warrants and ended up saying, fuck it, I'm going to go to jail. Turn myself in and say, and see, I was crying on the show because I was like, I was thinking, I done seen people before me have to go through some stuff with the law as it pertains to like being on that show. So I'm thinking my damn mugshot finna be out here. I'm thinking it finna be in the shade room with everybody else. <laughs> and I'm thinking, why the fuck is this happening to me when I'm going up? Like, up, and then now, like, yeah, people be like, oh, it wasn't that big of a deal. You on your own business. I do on my own business. But the, but the rooms I enter now, 
I don't need there to be a question of whether or not I did something wrong. You know what I'm saying? I'm affiliated with one of the largest companies in the world, TikTok. And I don't want nobody to see a mugshot and be like, oh. Because the people these days, they see a mugshot, you guilty. You done did it, whether you did it or not. Whether you get thrown out or not, people don't hear the end. They just see the beginning and they stop there. So I was just like, fuck. Like, I don't want this to be be me, but I'm so glad. And that's, that's the thing, you know. God always be like. You know, the words say, the weapon will form, but it will not prosper. It may form, but it ain't going to prosper. And as for me, it didn't prosper. I was so thankful and I was so grateful that when I got... And I don't think I could see any other outcome because I know I didn't do nothing. See, here's the thing. When you at your own business, minding your own business, you shouldn't be... Shouldn't nobody just be able to come up and just mess with you like that? Like, that's... that's and the ones that I do, they'll never be good enough. <laughs> People be on like 30 and 40, 50. No. That's like a Black Friday situation um, for us. Like, it's like our company culture where we just don't do those type of steep discounts throughout the year. Um, we do do like bundle deals and stuff like that. And I think that's just going to be something we maintain because it just, it's a lot of reason people do sales and discounts. But for us, it's just not something that we want to do right now. I could talk about it all day. Like, it was one year I almost discounted myself out of business. And, like, I don't ever want to get, get known for doing that again. And, you know, I appreciate the people who respect the price. Um, but it's the price for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, the cost of the ingredients, the cost of the labor. It's, the price is the price for a reason. So, like, we could make the product $50 and be like, hey, you get it for 25 but And that's it, it always looked like a 50% off. Some people follow that model, too. But for us, we just follow the model of the price is the price. Uh, I'm reading the comments. Yes, more men since are coming. <laughs> I'm doing good, you know. I um, I was hurt when I heard the news about Kiki. I really was like, I think I I was I was actually in the airport because I was coming back to Huntsville, so that's why I ended up posting so late because I I was traveling, and I just kind of was like, like it just what. <laughs> and then to kind of be privy to like more stuff. It just, it, your mind just processed a whole lot of stuff different, you know? And then it had you feel like, damn, what, what, what do I want to be a part of? Like, what do I really want to be a part of? Y'all reading the comments? Uh, are we bringing back Rose Glow? On the live on Wednesday. I forgot to tell you that. Uh, I recommend the, the Blossom Serum. The 1.0. Like the OG. The original one. It's the thick one. It's really thick. So if you wear your hair natural, it's good. If you wear your hair... Straight, you might want to get the 2.0. The sample packs are coming back. Rose Glow, it's a skincare product. It's like the, a moisturizer that I use on my face after I use my cleanser. The cleanser that I use is a newer. I actually got it off TikTok, so I'm going to be showing it to y'all on the live, too. Um, I use that cleanser. I think I showed it on here on, on Instagram one night. It's, it's a Korean skincare. It's supposed to give you, like, glass skin. It, like, helped my skin so much. They, um, they ain't black. They, they, like, they change colors. Can you see it? So, they like that. Love y'all, too. All right, y'all, I'm about to get off here and go mess with Courtney. Let me show y'all. Look, let me show y'all this, though. Hold on. Let me flip this camera around. I don't be knowing how to, okay, here we go. Look, look at, look at this girl. What are you doing? Hey, y'all, 
Y'all see Peachy Weechy. We got smoke right here. Smoke, what you doing? What are you doing, sir? He don't like being outside when it's hot. I would take the camera downstairs and let y'all see Courtney trying to put this down. Ping pong table together, but look at Chloe. There go Chloe. Say, hey, Chloe. That's my other little baby. I ain't got no service down here. So my service here is crazy. But he's like in the basement area putting the ping pong table together. Oh, did I purchase a house in LA? I'm still looking. Like, it's gonna have to be the right one because I gotta feel it. Your houses there are different. I see a lot of pretty ones, the views, but I don't wanna get caught up in the view and like not the home feeling aspect of it. How many dogs you have? I have three dogs. I had four up until yesterday. Courtney gave our husky away. I came home, he was gone. Y'all broke down crying. But our husky is like the odd man out the bunch. He tears stuff up. He chewed our door up. Let me show y'all what he did to my damn door. He has destroyed $20,000 worth of property around here between landscaping, patio. I ain't got no patio furniture on the back right now because he demolished it. My patio furniture in the front is done. And recently he has taken to tearing up the door. Let me show you the door. Yeah, so Blue did this. And Courtney said he is done. Hi, it's a wrap. He gave Blue away to somebody who can, like, you know, deal with a husky. Huskies are different. They ain't the easiest dog to kind of just. And while everybody else be in the house, we used to have to leave him outside because he was just he was just crazy. So Courtney was like, he done. He, he he opened the mail up before we did clothes and shit be all over, over the yard. He told he tore up some of Courtney Tina's shoes. I think Courtney paid a lot of money for them shoes. Courtney couldn't even open the box that was already in the yard. The box opened that was in in the yard. He said, "You know what? Tired him. He gotta go." I said, "Oh my god!" <laughs> but he was the one. He was the one that made everything fun. Cause we used to joke on Blue. We used to be like, "He crazy," cause he was so crazy. But he got a really good home now. I think he got his own bedroom. He with a single man who just want a companion, honey. So he finna be a big baby. <laughs> but yeah, I, I used to have like bomb patio furniture in my back. Gone. All my plants in the back. Gone. Like. <laughs> he And then I'm gonna sit up here like, it's okay, Courtney. We just get some more. Just just fix it. Replace the door. Courtney, like, I'm tired of buying shit by this dog. Like, he was like, fuck this dog. <laughs> and he got rid of blue. All blue gone. Yes, it's cat eye on my nails. Courtney, I'm snitching on you. I told him how you got rid of Blue. I showed him what he did. But what did he really do? Because he been doing that for years. Blue, two ye he two years old. So we tried. Courtney gave him away before. And we we had to take him back. So <laughs> I, told, I told him what you did. Well, hey. Why you do that? He missed my dog. And my flower beds. You felt that passionately about the door? Yep. I ain't been keep replacing doors every year. <laughs> I have no idea why that dog wanted to chew the damn door up, but he was. Do do right. Everybody else did right. He was chewing up the door. Um, I, I use anybody glaze on my hair, just depending on what smell I want to smell like. When you put it on your hair for your, whether you're doing a wash and go or a twist out, I did a twist out on this. Um, I did like some big twists and I just took them apart. The smell lasts about three weeks. Your hair be smelling good for about three weeks. Somebody said, poor Blue. I feel bad for Blue too. I, I literally came home yesterday and he was gone. I mean, just gone. You see what he did to Yeah. <laughs> he was just gone. So I was like. I just broke down because I said, why you break them up? Like, that was. I told him how many packages he okay. told. All right. It's okay, though. It ain't all right. It is. It was. 
the um the skincare called Anua A N U A and it's a Korean based skincare company. Huskies ain't no joke. They are the, they I was not ready. The dog was crazy and then see they have peaches and blue. You see how they just I'm not blue peaches and smoke. You see how I just showed y'all them. They just lay around. They don't bother nobody. They let, relax all day. So want to lay over the vent peaches want to cuddle chloe she an old girl she just want to walk around and be lay in the bed like spirit he a cat he they you know the game solid but then you had blue just crazy i use body glaze in my hair i use it in my son hair i use it in my hair and this is the result of like body glaze on a twist out and it's soft it's moisturizing it ain't crunchy i don't put nothing in here but body glaze Blue was still young. Yes, he was two years old. What's the idea? Uh, yeah, I would use drops too. Like you look at the ingredients. Like the ingredients, when you see clean ingredients, like you can you can use it on both. So that's why I, I use it on both. And it works so good. Thank you. I just, okay, so all I do when I wash it be wet, I take it, I dig in there, <laughs> and I coat my hair with it, and I take a detangling brush, I comb it through, and then it just curl up, and it be moisturized, it don't dry out, that's the best part about it, it don't dry out like how some products will. Yeah, this is my hair. I don't know. Y'all never got a chance to see me when my hair was long. It was like waist length. And my baby, it like started breaking off. Like it was damaged. Like pregnancy took a toll on my hair because I had to do progesterone shots. Because you know, y'all know I did IVF. So it was so healthy and beautiful. And it was great during pregnancy. But the moment, like six weeks after, it just started looking lifeless. And I said, fuck it, cut it off. Yeah, I'll do a hair video. I might get back in my hair bag. We've been talking about putting the hair care products on TikTok and putting them back in stock on the website. You can still get them in some stores. I don't know. I kind of lost my... Let me tell y'all something. I had lost my passion for hair care because I had went through a lot. I almost lost my business with hair care. Um, amongst other things. And I, I just wasn't passionate about it no more. Like Once I got into retail and learned the retail game and took so many L's with retail, took so many L's with... with people i trusted that took advantage of me it was just like i almost restarted my company and focusing on the hero called body glaze instead of just hair care it kind of made me feel like i was doing something fresh and new and i kind of put hair care on the back burner because it had just it had damn near i got burnt out on it to be honest and i had felt like i took so many l's and i just didn't want to deal with it no more <laughs> it was weird i just wanted to focus on body glaze I was feeling body glaze, my soul was in body glaze, and hair care was just like, I was like, go get it in the store, hell. Because I had done, took so many L's putting it in the store, I was like, just get it out of the store. And I just put it on the back burner. But now I want to bring her own bag. I might, we ain't even talking about doing different packaging and everything for the products. The products are really good. Really, really good. Well, Daria, I appreciate that. Um, I hope you continue to do so for years to come. Oh. Let me go shit this though. I'm letting stuff fly all up in the house. Trying to show y'all with blue. Well, Curvies, there you have her thoughts on Black Titanic, on Kiki, on hair oil, and a lot of other things. Are you watching Love and Marriage Huntsville this season? How do you feel about Stormy as an addition? Would you care if she left? She did mention she's been thinking about it for a while. I look forward to hearing from you. See you in the next video.